With me today are Dorothy Ham, Vice President of the Outreach Ministry for the Mother of Char Sorrows Church, and Cheryl Vorhauer, Administrator of the Backpack Program for Centerville Methodist Church. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Dorothy, can you tell us a little bit about your, your uh, ministry and what you do? Well, we have several different projects. Uh, one of them is our pantry. Uh, it's open on the second and the fourth Thursday of every month from four to six uh, in the afternoon. Uh, we serve approximately 30 families at each opening, but it can range anywhere from uh, 20 families to 60 families at one time. Uh, these families um, uh, come from a variety of uh, areas and backgrounds. We have um, mothers coming with their small children and uh, elderly people coming in wheelchairs and um, ages all in between. Um, we serve a lot of single people, but we also serve a lot of large families, um, you know, maybe four adults and four children. Um, we serve them uh, a variety of food, nutritious food as best we can, um, canned vegetables, fruits, um, uh, meats. Uh, we don't serve dairy products, but we do give the families a $5 gift card to uh, use, hopefully, to buy fresh dairy products at the store. Um, we also work very closely with the Maryland Food Bank uh, to get uh, f frozen meat, uh, chicken, and um, hot dogs and hamburgers, and uh, a variety of other foods. Um, we do have um, some laundry products and uh, some personal products. Okay, I was going to ask you about that. Paper products as well. Uh, so there's a number of different things people can access through your ministries. Yes, we, we try to uh, uh, respond to the requests that we get, and one of them is, you know, for uh, paper products, so we do the best we can. Oh, that's very good, very good. Cheryl, can you tell us a little bit about what you do with the backpack program and anything else you're involved in? Certainly. Um, the Backpacks for Kids program at Centerville United Methodist Church began in 2009 as a uh, part of the outreach ministry of the Evangelism Committee at church. And we, we uh, actually modeled it after a backpack program that had been started in Rock Hall with uh, a few tweaks to, uh, to fit our situation. Um, we started out with 25 children at Kennard Elementary and then the next year we expanded to Centerville and then after that Mother of Sorrows took over Centerville um, school and we expanded to Church Hill so that now we provide um, weekend food for 50 children, 25 at Kennard Elementary and 25 at Church Hill. Um, in these backpacks we put two breakfast items, two lunch items, two snacks, two fruits and two fruit juices every week that school's in session. The children at the schools are chosen by the school counselors, the guidance counselors. We depend on them tremendously to um, choose the children that are most needy. And the, they are generally from the, um, the pool of kids who um, get their free and reduced um, lunch, lunches at the school. So again, they remain anonymous to us and the, the guidance counselors um, just collect the food every week. We drop the bags of food off to them and they distribute them. And at Kennard, I know they call it the um, book bag club and it's there's no stigma associated with it. The children are very excited to come down and get their uh, backpacks of food or bags of food every Friday bef you know, before school is out. And um, it it's really has been a great program. <coughs> Excuse me, the guidance counselors, the parents, the, the children all have expressed a lot of appreciation uh, for that program. Now you mentioned something to me before we started the interview mm -hmm. about food insecurity. Could you elaborate a little bit on that? Sure. I was very interested in that. Sure. Food insecurity is a term that was coined by the Maryland Food Bank uh, a few years ago and it refers to um, the fact that children or adults as well, but in, in this case we're talking about backpacks for kids, um, the children who may not know where their next meal is coming from. And that's why it's important during the week these kids can access uh, free breakfasts at school, they can access uh, free school lunches, and you know have a, a fairly decent 
um, nutritional balance in their life. But on the weekends, you know, who knows what they eat? And some of them honestly may not eat from the time they leave school on Friday until they come back to school on Monday morning. And then it's hard to think that that can happen in this county, but it, it, it certainly can, particularly um, in the, the northern end of the county. Um, all of the schools have a certain percentage of children that um, are in the free and reduced lunch program and for Sellersville for instance has about 64 percent of their kids in the free and reduced program and it's you know much lower as you get um, you know into Centerville it's about 12 percent 14 percent in um, in the schools in this area but um, these are kids that you know that desperately need need the help. Dorothy um, how will your organization participate or what will you do with this program that's coming up in October I'm assuming you're going to be involved in that in some way and make a difference day yes uh, we will be uh, we'll first uh, first of all have a display and a, an explanation to explain exactly what we do in the way of serving uh, the homeless and uh, those who are in need and uh, our church has been assigned the task of uh, setting up and all of the just the uh, tables and things and then taking them down. Very good, very good. But uh, if you don't mind, I'd uh, like to take this opportunity to thank Cheryl for sharing the backpack program with us. Um, I've been in volunteer work for a long time and I have never worked with a program that is so popular. It's the only, only one where we have too many volunteers. People love the program and um, uh, at Mother Sorrows, uh, our church hall where they prepare this is right next to Centerville Elementary School. So we have 40 children. We started off with 15 and each year they've, the uh, counselors have asked for more and we're now up to 40 children and we pack uh, 40 bags in a cart and just wheel them over to the school and the counselors take these bags and actually put it in the children's backpacks because we're talking about small children now. So it's been a hugely successful program. Thanks, well, I Cheryl. I think that's wonderful. Yeah. Cheryl, thank you. Thank you. Uh, sounds well, thank like you've done some tremendous work there. Well, and I, then I would like to say that the work is not done because there are still schools in the county, elementary schools, that do not have a backpack program. So if anyone is watching this and they belong to a church, or uh, even if it's a small church, um, there are five smaller churches in Graysonville who have gotten together and um, they support the Graysonville Elementary School. So that's something that is, you know, it's a very um, good ecumenical service um, to get churches working together and get people working together and it, it, and it really does bring everyone closer. And it sounds like there's a serious need for this. There is, there is a serious need, much more than than you would ever think. And you know, with children, you know, certainly you hate to think of any child going hungry, going to bed hungry. And um, you, know, you just know that children think better, they have fewer health room visits, they, it just affects their whole life if, if they start out with good nutrition. How, how can the community at large uh, help you? What, what can be done? What do you need? Well, uh, one of our other uh, 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 popular programs at Mother of Sorrows is the holiday baskets. We provide holiday food baskets for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter. Uh, we uh, put together uh, 200 baskets for Thanksgiving along with, uh, and we work with Feed a Family who uh, also serves the southern end of Queen Anne's County. Uh, for Christmas, uh, we had 220 uh, food baskets and had gifts for the small children and the senior, uh, our senior clients. And for Easter, we did 120 baskets. But um, Christmas especially is a very uh, exciting, fun project. Uh, we get help from the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, the grocery stores, other parishes. Uh, we all come together and uh, put these, donate the food first of all, and put the baskets together, and then deliver them to the families as they uh, come to pick them up. Speaking of donations, how can people get in touch with you? Well, we do have a helpline uh, that uh, it's 410-758-6833, or they can just look in the yellow pages for Mother Sorrows Church and call the parish office. We'd love to hear from anyone. 
And Cheryl, how about you? How, how can people help you or get in touch with you if they have donations for the backpack program? Besides backpack program, we also have several other food programs at our church at Centerville United Methodist Church. We have a food pantry, which is open on Wednesdays from 11 to 1, and donations for that are always, um, you can just drop those off at the church. That would be, you yeah, that would be very welcome. Um, we also uh, sponsor the mobile food pantry about three or four times a year, and this is when the Maryland Food Bank um, brings trucks of food and um, anywhere from 6,000 to 9,000 pounds of food they drop in our church parking lot. And uh, prior to their coming, um, I make flyers and we distribute them to social services and the health department and all of those places where people who, you know, who access those services may, uh, may need food. So um, we just pack up different bags or leave it open and people come and get the, the types of foods that they want. And we are actually having one this Friday um, June 13th. And then we also help the migrant uh, food, the migrant worker program in Sudlersville. Um, every summer they have a school for the children of the migrant workers. And we're, uh, this will be the fourth year we've provided some backpacks for them. So that's an area. A few um, juice boxes, 100% juice boxes, applesauce, um, single serving uh, kid size puddings, um, you know, anything like that is, al is always welcome. You can drop those off at Centerville United Methodist Church. If you live in the Sudlersville area, you could take them to Sudlersville Elementary School and I think they would be, um, they would be welcome there. Is there a phone number where anyone can reach you that yeah. uh, would like to volunteer or uh, would like sure. to donate uh, something? Yeah, but I don't know the church number offhand. Um, my number is 410 758 3791. That's my home number. You could reach me there. Very good. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to add that um, maybe I've missed uh, asking an appropriate question? Well, we've got a, a big project coming up that we're very excited about. Um, uh, currently, we just have a very small pantry and um, people have to stand in line and um, we have volunteers who uh, fill up uh, bags of food. Um, more, they're more or less pre-selected and, and just hand them out and we're going to convert our garage at the church to a pantry so that people can come in and actually shop as they would in a grocery store. And we're hoping that it's going to make it easier for our volunteers uh, who do an awful lot of uh, packing and storing. Last year we um, handled 12,000 pounds of uh, groceries, so that's a lot on some of us elderly <laughs> volunteers. So we're looking forward to that, and we're also uh, very happy about the fact that we'll be giving it a little bit more dignity to our shoppers. That's great. That's terrific. Well, I'd like to thank you both for coming in today and um, you know, having me put you through this. I appreciate all the work you've done, and thank you so much for your ministries. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us.